In the beginning, God said, let there be light to burn away the darkness. So today we're giving Press their, their first hands-on with the game. Previously we've been showing Metro hands-off in a you know, more theatre style presentation for really to try and show some of the new uh, gameplay features that we've introduced, advancements we've made to the, to the technology. And that's all well and good, but um, you know, Metro is designed to be enjoyed as a kind of long form experience. It's the kind of game where you want to sit down for two hours in a darkened room with your surround sound turned up and really get drawn into the story because it's, uh, you know, it's a story-driven adventure at, at heart. Um, it's got a rich and sophisticated weaving plot um, and that's really what we're offering the press, uh, press today. So the first level they're playing, we're actually letting them uh, pick up a level called Echoes. It's what we showed at uh, E3 in 2012, where you and Pavel pick your way through the ruined surface of Moscow in this downed plane that went down in the nuclear explosion. From there, you'll venture into one of our new station cities, the theater, where uh, the survivors of the Bolshoi Theater continue to put on performances in this uh, kind of spooky cabaret down in the, down in the metro. Enjoy the show. Anything like this before. Sorry, man. Time to move I on. I sorry for the other performance now. Of the Their attempts at impressing the Beyond that, you'll be fighting your way through a, uh, a red line controlled uh, armored armored train factory. Uh, we've got some very spooky survival horror moments underground as you're, uh, you're making use of uh, your, your own powered rail car. Um, and ultimately we take you back to Venice, the flooded station city and... Uh, Did you want something, young man? Make your choice, everything's fresh. And the desolate swamp lands that we, we showed you just before Christmas. Other stations have coalesced into these factions and there are three key factions within the game. You've got the, the forces of Reich, they're these um, fascist neo-Nazis, Russian um, Nazis and I say Nazi in terms of political inclination rather than uh, the ones that we're so used to shooting in first person shooters. Um, the hardline communists of, of Red Line and then uh, the kind of capitalist Hansa. Um, you know, on the surface, maybe a friendlier bunch, but, you know, driven by greed and, and avarice, as all good capitalists are. Ah, so you already know. I am the head of intelligence, after all. Then why did you let the information leak? Damn the refugees. Polis, Hansa, and even the fucking Nazis already know about our plans. All kinds of life, you know, are down here. Good people and bad, rich and poor. And these ideologies are hammering against each other constantly in the metro. And that's really the, the context behind the, the story, this, this brewing civil war. Because at the end of Metro 2033, you discover the bunker of, of D6. And within this bunker, it's rumored that there are weapons and supplies and medicines. And it's this glittering prize in the in the center of the metro that all of these factions want to appropriate for their own purposes sending people to camps or just shooting them all because of the coming war people are fleeing from kuznetsky most and their whole red line did you see the armored train the reds are building well we built something too with the stuff the refugees are bringing here take a look at this baby the boys even gave her a name. You can't help but fall in love with her. She did a swell job running refugees. But hell, you can't save everyone. So, take it. We have people in Venice, too. When you get there, find Woodpecker and tell him where you left our baby. Climb aboard! One of the sections we're going to show is where um, you, you gain access to this powered rail car. Um, and uh, within this section, you, you, you have control over the rail car, so you go through the tunnels, uh, you can stop, get out whenever you choose, explore off the beaten, beaten track. There are a few critical moments where you'll need to open blast doors or set points um, to, to, to continue. Um, it's just a, you know, a slightly different style of gameplay um, that, that we introduce within the game.
Metro Last Light will be released on PC, Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 on, uh, let me get this right, May 14th in the US and May 17th for the rest of the world.